Hello everybody, welcome back to Statistics Fix. I'm going to be taking a look at this Canon MG5750, which belongs to a friend of mine. Now I wasn't going to make a video on this because I assumed it was going to be something really very simple. When he brought it to me, I had a look inside, and basically it's not accepting one of the ink cartridges. In this case it's the yellow one. I'll just show you what I mean. There we go. The following ink tank cannot be recognised, and it's got a symbol for the yellow one there. So I assumed that it was just going to be a problem with dirty contacts on the cartridge itself, because they have little chips on them, or the contacts within the printer that make the connection with the cartridge itself. Now when I opened this up, the pins were actually bent inside, so where the yellow cartridge was, was contacting, it was um, a couple of the pins were misaligned, so I bent them back into shape, and I thought that'll be it. I'll just have you have you quite finished? Thank you. Where was I? Uh, yeah. So the yeah, I thought that'd be it, but it it's not. It's still not accepting the yellow ink cartridge and I've tried a few different ones now hopefully I can show you inside here okay so there's the error code oh for God's sake and now I've tried resetting this I've tried numerous different things but it's still it's still not having any of it so when you open the slot you were there we go, you can see the yellow one is here, and there's no red LED. However, when you do pop it, and then reinsert it, the red LED comes on. You think, great, that's all working. Our survey said... So I'm guessing there's something going on on the inside of this thing. So where the, the contacts are, maybe there's a break between the contacts and where they go, you know, the connection to the motherboard. I don't know. So I think I'm going to have to take it apart and see what's going on, basically. Wow, that is not fun. Right, basically to get this thing apart, you've got, it's all clipped together. So we've got to release these catches. There's one here. They're just really stiff. Once those ones are out, we've also got two here, here and here. And then I think... There's another one at the front here, so you've got to get it over this point here, like so. There we go. Wow. Definitely not my idea of fun, that. We've got access to this circuit board here now. And I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with the circuit board. But it is possible that one of these ribbon connectors is not transmitting the data. Right, I really need to get down to the mechanism for the, the ink cartridges. Which is kind of fallen out now. Well, there is a ribbon cable still holding it in. I don't want to, obviously don't want to rip it. Whew. This is so difficult to work on, it really is. Oops. Right, well that's, that's that out. I don't know whether I'll be able to get it back in again, but it's out. I mean, sure, there's, there's ink and 
it needs a good clean under there. But I don't think that would stop it from... I don't actually know. I don't know which bit does the, the recognising. It's got to be here. And then it goes through the ribbon cable that was attached in there. Now the ribbon cable looked okay. So I'm wondering whether... There's like five pins here. Maybe there's a small break here or something. I don't know. Let's have a look. So let's do it from the pins on this side. Alright, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so all of these... It's marked up as, with a V. It's going to be difficult to see. But they all go to this trace here, This the second pin. And that's where the yellow one, second pin. So they're all going here. And then there's obviously a component on the other side. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe maybe it's just a jumper. It goes to here and then it goes into the ribbon cable there. So from there to there, we've got continuity. So that's okay. I think this one's a ground. That one's the ground, sorry. Where do these ones go? That goes to that via there. That goes to that via there. Where does that come up? That's on the second pin of the ribbon connector. So that should be the same for this one. Yep. And then that one. The third pin. So that should be the same for... Yep. So that all seems to be fine. So let's have a closer look at this. So where the ink cartridge makes contact with these five pins on the top here, and then they make contact with the circuit board here. Right, so I don't think there's anything actually wrong with this, this part of it. I'm not going to lie and say that this is easy. This is really very difficult. If you're attempting this yourself, make sure that you remember where everything goes, because there's a lot going on here, and <laughs> I didn't, I can't remember where everything goes, so I'm going to struggle. And I'm also getting ink everywhere. Alright, where does that go? Approximately 18 swear words later. Exactly the same error. See, I think one of those five pins is telling the machine that the yellow cartridge is there. I wonder if I could run a jumper from one of the pins on the, on the one next to it to sort of trick it into thinking that it's there. I now spend the next, what seemed like three days, taking it apart, running jumper wires, and putting it back together. In hindsight, I'm an idiot. Anyway, let's pick it up just before I almost threw it out the window. You mother f Right, I'm going to attempt to swap the yellow one with one of the others, and just see if, see if it still throws up the same error. And then I'm going to give up. Let's swap it with a black one next to it. Alright, there we go. Swap the black and the yellow. I don't even know what these things are called, but it's basically the contacts for the ink cartridge. <laughs> I think I think it worked. Right, let's put it all back together. Okay, so let's power it on, see if it's now all working. So far so good. Let's print a nozzle check pattern.
Oh, yeah. Right, well, I'd love to say that I really enjoyed working on this, but the reality is this thing is a complete and utter... It's really difficult to open. It is very, very fiddly inside. I'm sure all printers are the same, and it's just very messy. I've got ink all over my hands and fingers, but... It works! I'm sure I can do a joke with Canon in it. Canon I fix it. Yeah, that's a good one.